Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Jason Rosbach, and I am here to present to you the Trimble TDC 600 handheld that was just announced a few weeks ago, um, and also the Spectra Geospatial Mobile Mapper 60. Um, so this presentation is going to be fairly short and to the point, um, and leave plenty of room for questions at the end. So feel free to ask me questions via the uh, the, the chat um, screen and uh, I will address that towards the end of the presentation. So, um, as I mentioned, we are releasing both the TDC 600 and the Mobile Mapper 60. So this presentation will um, will get, give both coverage. They're the, the same product at the same price point, um, just different part numbers and obviously different color, different branding. Um, but at a glance, the TDC 100 and Mobile Mapper 60 have a very powerful um, eight core 2.2 gigahertz processor, four gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of storage. So you have plenty of storage to you know, bring in base maps and so on. It also has expandable storage um, uh, with an SD card so that if you need to add more data into the uh, phone, you can. Um, it has a six inch screen. Um, and what when we first started looking at this project, what a lot of the customers that we ran this by really liked is that it it, it had the benefits of it's small enough to fit in your pocket, well, although you need a big pocket, but it's still it's, a, it, it's something that's portable, but it has a screen big enough to, to do actual good data collection um, and be able to drive common workflows within GIS. Um, and then the most impressive thing um, with this phone is the all-day battery life. Um, we've done, I'll cover a little more about the battery a little later on, but it, 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 it really is screen on, full bright. You can use it for um, over 10 hours during the day. So it's, it's going to provide good performance for your, your customers. We're releasing with Android 8.0 operating system. Um, and we also are Google Mobile Services certified. So that means that you can have Google Maps, Google Play, and everything else that you get um, from being certified. And of course, it's a you know two in one. It's not just a, a smartphone. It, it, it has an integrated uh, GNSS receiver that can get you know, under two meters um, with SBAS uh, corrections. So it's got a good um, GP, a GNSS antenna built into it, as well as a good receiver. Um, so um, it, it combines the, the, the hand, handiness of having a handheld smartphone with a, a, a good mapping grade GIS receiver. This is a, a lot of words in the slide, but I'll just highlight some of the, the, the more important things here. Um, to the battery, the battery, like I mentioned before, is, is um, very, uh, has a very high endurance. Um, with the testing we did, um, I'll explain one of the tests that we ran and so you can uh, interpret the results for yourself because battery conditions can vary from application to application. But we had TerraFlex running. Um, we were connected to a Catalyst DA1 with no external power source for the antenna. We were also connected um, to VRS Now getting uh, RTK corrections over LTE. Um, we had the screen on full bright and we were you know, at you know, centimeter level performance from Catalyst and we ran it for 12 hours before the battery was dead. That was with Catalyst, as you know, Catalyst um, consumes um, some power from the, from the phone itself. So tests outside of Catalyst where people were running this product um, have seen greater than 15 hours of endurance um, using the, app, the, the, the phone on a, just a, in a general sense. So um, we are really confident that this is going to provide um, one of the best performances um, from, a, from a, a Trimble handheld from a battery endurance standpoint um, in our portfolio. The GNSS receiver um, supports multiple constellations, and you have the ability to control that within the settings. Um, we have two cameras in this. Um, it is a very rugged phone. IP67 rating um, has gone through the shock and vibe tests for um, the mill standards. Um, we do have a, a, an external connector if you need an antenna mounted to it. So for instance, if someone was, was using this in a vehicle um, and needed to mount an antenna on the roof, uh, they have the ability to do that. Um, you have programmable function keys as well um, that allows you to either have it launch a, you know, a common app um, to easily get to, to different um, um, applications on, on your device. Um, and then lastly, we do um, include a three-year warranty. So that gives you the ability to uh, know that if, you know, if something breaks, you know, not from, you know, accidents, but if something, you know, uh, part of the system itself is not functioning correctly, it's covered for three years. From a comm standpoint, um, we do have uh, the standard stuff, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular, LTE, um, USB Type-C for charging and for data. 
Um, we also support two nano SIM cards. So um, if for some reason you need to have uh, be on two different networks, um, maybe because uh, where someone is traveling for work, it's cheaper to add another SIM and get on a local network. It has the capability to support both. So specifically to the TDC 600, um, these are the, the field configurations that we have tested. Um, we've tested Trimble Catalyst and the DA1 antenna, of course, as I mentioned before.
your ears tuned for that. And with that, I don't have any other things to share, but I know you've been asking questions, so I'll just jump right into the questions here. Um, so a question was, why does the website say two to four meters? I, the website says that because it's um, uh, it's conservative, not including any corrections. Um, so if you have SBAS available, um, our tests have shown that you will achieve greater than two meter accuracy. If you don't have any correction sources, um, two to four um, is, is what you can expect. Um, there's a question about if the TP, the Trimble Precision SDK is being used on this device. So Trimble Precision SDK does support Android. So yes, any application that needs to use the Trimble Precision SDK would be able to use this device. Um, and the digging into that question a little deeper, um, if you're asking if the TP SDK supports the internal receiver, um, no, but there would be no need to because it's piped in um, with the driver through location services on the device itself. Um, there's a question, will there be a charger for the batteries? Um, no, not at this time. It was, um, the, since the battery endurance is so long, um, the, we um, did not, uh, have not included a gang charger, any sort of external charger for the, for the, the batteries themselves. Uh, interesting question. Are you planning to launch Trimble Access on the TDC 600? Um, we don't have Trimble Access support on Android um, at this point. Um, but if we did, um, yes, we would for sure support it on the TDC 600. Um, question, let's see here, about AT&T certification. Um, AT&T has shown to be a little less onerous um, as far as allowing people on the network. Um, so um, we've done a lot of our testing on AT&T at full LTE speeds without any issues. Um, and in the past, we have not seen very many issues with AT&T similar to what we'd seen with Verizon. Um, one of the certifications that we are achieving on this product will um, be recognized by AT&T. And in the past, we've, we, like with the TDC 100, it has never been an issue. So do we have any other questions? Okay, well, if there's no other questions, I appreciate your time. Um, I kept it short and not on purpose. It was just uh, um, the content available was um, was straight and to the point. So um, if you have any other questions, um, oh, one just came in and I forgot to mention this. Yeah, are there any special dealer incentives for our demo units? Yes, um, uh, standard um, demo um, rates um, are applicable to this, so it would be 40% off the list price. Um, the prices are, I, I didn't publish them in the, in this presentation because different currencies have, have different um, prices, obviously. So um, go to the store, you can see the, the most recent prices, but yes, we will honor a 40% discount for demo units. If you have any questions, um, feel free to email me. Um, it's just Jason underscore Ross back at Trimble.com. Most of you know how to get a hold of me. Um, I welcome your feedback and hope that you um, have success with this product. Thanks for your time.